Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review. And today I shall be talking about the Feather Deck Goldfinch Edition by Joshua J and Travis DeMello. Before I do this, can you please like, subscribe, and check out cardmagiccourse.com, which is my online card magic course, which everybody loves. Nobody ever has a bad thing to say about it. And uh, you can learn from me. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? And improve if you've already yeah, handy with a deck of cards. Uh, and talking about decks of cards, look at that seamless way of moving into this. Um, these are lovely. I don't think I'm very good at uh, um, reviewing playing cards. David's good, isn't he? Like, he? He goes right into it all. I don't, I'm learning about it, and I keep forgetting what's what. There's so many different stocks, and well, there isn't loads, but I forget what one's what. So these are the Carter Monday ones, um, and they are really lovely first of all i'll kind of describe them but you can have a look at the the footage but i'll kind of it's more of a feel thing with cards isn't it because some of them are going to be quite similar but there's a big psychological thing that happens so let's talk about this you, you get a deck of cards out you know that if and these aren't bicycle but let's say they're the us playing card you know that they're going to be one of three stocks and a limited number of finishes and um and all that but they still tend to feel different and i think a lot of that is what they look like there is definitely a sort of kinesthetic thing when i pick these up because they look so pretty and they're called the feather deck they feel really really light and by the way sorry about the noise but it's so hot in here that window's staying open and there's traffic these feel light and airy and just because they just look so nice the box is really lovely it's that kind of it's not a shiny box it's the kind of matte finish um, very, very minimal, which is kind of part of it. You know, Travis DeMello is this, he, he draws a lot of anatomy apparently, and, and you can see it's, it's these, these thin drawings that look very photographic. And you've got the foil embossing, which again just looks, looks really lovely because it's not overdone. And I do like, quite like those decks that really go over the top and look amazingly sort of ornate, but, the, but I'm, I prefer something a bit minimal. And um, just the box is, is really, really lovely, and the seal is, is great. It's like a kind of old, there's a kind of retro feel to these. As with the colours as well, you've got these two different colour schemes. Um, you know, you've got this kind of teal colour, which is really kind of retro in the gold. The, the, they are absolutely beautiful, and I do, th this crushed stock is very thin, but it, it, it feels kind of substantial, and I haven't used these for a long time because I wanted to keep them in good nick. Um, but they do handle beautifully. There is a, a, a really lovely design on the Joker here as well, and you've got a blank facer in there. And the Ace is different. You know, these are custom um, cards as well. The Ace feels different. It's got this lovely kind of artistic bird, um, kind of bird flying away out of the Ace of Spades. And it's and then Vanishing have done this before, where they have the um, the odd coloured spade on the Three of Spades, etc. But but really, really lovely feel to them and. And these do feel different to, to what I'm used to. You know, when I pick up uh, US playing card company cards um, uh, or a lot of the other ones, I'm kind of used to them now. But these feel a bit different. But again, how much of that is psychological, I don't know. But it's kind of irrelevant. If you like them, you like them. Not a lot more I can say. If there's more that you want to hear, do let me know in the comments. We have this comments on comments section. I don't want to, if you, like I say, if you watch David's reviews, he goes really into detail. And he's kind of better at this stuff than me. But I did want to sort of make you aware of them. And um, a lot of decks I can kind of give or take, really. I look at them and go, yeah, it's another deck of cards. It's quite nice. But these are very pretty, and I'd like lots of them, please. Um, but two will do me just fine. So there you go. There's the Feather deck. Um, very lovely. Any questions, do comment, and I'll answer your questions on a Thursday in the live show. And do join us for the live sessions on Mondays and Thursdays, 5 UK. It's a really lovely community, and you can ask me anything you want about the products or just about magic in general. And, uh, and that'd be great. So like and subscribe, do all the good stuff, cardmagiccourse.com. Please do go and have a look at it. Uh, it really helps me with creating and spreading awareness and get your free spread cull course, cardmagiccourse.com forward slash cull, C-U-L-L. Have a great one. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.